Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, August 28th, the 13th week after Pentecost and week one in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 134, at Acts chapter 28, verse 1 to 16. Please join me in singing uh, the doxology verse to Psalm 95, to the tune of Pure Nobis. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah! Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God. Hallelujah! Psalm 134. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah! Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God, which by night stand in the house of our God. Lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless God, the God that made heaven and earth. Bless you out of Zion. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God. Hallelujah. A lesson from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, beginning at verse 1. After we had reached safety, we then learned that the island was called Malta. The natives showed us unusual kindness, since it had begun to rain and was cold. They kindled a fire and welcomed all of us around it. Paul had gathered a bundle of brushwood and was putting it on the fire when a viper, driven out by the heat, fastened itself onto his hand. And when the na natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, this man must be a murderer, though he has escaped from the sea. Justice has not allowed him to live. He, however, shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. They were expecting him to swell up or drop dead, but after they had waited a long time and saw nothing unusual had happened to him, they changed their mind and began to say he was a god. Now, in the neighborhood of that place where lands belonging to the leading man of the island, named Publius, who received us and entertained us hospitably for three days. It so happened that the father of Publius laid sick in bed with fever and dysentery. Paul visited him and cured him by praying and putting his hands on him. After this happened, the rest of the people on the island who had diseases also came and were cured. And they bestowed many honors on us, and when we were about to sail, they put on board all the provisions we needed. Three months later, we set sail on a ship that had wintered at the island, an Alexandrian ship with the twin brothers as its figurehead. We put in at Syracuse and stayed there for three days. Then we weighed anchor and came to Regium, after one day there, a south wind sprang up, and on the second day we came to Puteoli. 
There we found believers and were invited to stay with them for seven days. And so we came to Rome. The believers from there, when they heard of us, came as far as the Forum of Appius and three taverns to meet us. On seeing them, Paul thanked God and took courage. And when we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer that your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Augustine and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer and for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are our God, and we are your people, because you made us with your own hands. May we, together with all that are in heaven and earth, sing your praise this and every night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Blight be with us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.